Hi, I'm Chris John. I'm the president and co-founder of ProDesign. Uh, and I want to talk to you today a little bit about um, where ProDesign came from, uh, where we are today and where we're going. Um, and we founded ProDesign, uh, Steffi, my wife and I, in 2007. And um, there are two things that I want you to know about uh, how we started ProDesign, um, which really talk about you know, who we are. Uh, the first is that um, when we founded ProDesign, uh, we actually were asked by a customer, a good friend of mine, Julio Fedesia at Universal Window Coverings in Orlando, um, to actually build a product program for him. So he wanted to sell bamboo shades, but he didn't want to buy from all of the typical companies that, that he could buy from who were also competing with him on other products. So he came to us and he gave us a commission uh, to go and find him a program um, for a custom uh, bamboo shade program. And um, that kind of set the tone for the way that ProDesign works. Um, we're not so much a company that goes and develops something and then comes out and sells it to lots of people. Far more we're a company that actually starts with the customer, what they need, uh, what can help them make money, and then we go and find it and, and put it together for them. And that was very much uh, what happened when we first started talking to Tracy about putting together programs for budget blinds. She was looking for unique product offerings in the categories of roller shades and natural woven shades that would elevate the product line that franchises were able to offer to their consumers so that they would have something that when they went out to sell would be unique and exclusive to them. And so that's really how we started working with budget. So the second thing that was really important um, from when we started Pro Design was that once we were given this challenge by Julio to go and put together this program, uh, it took us over a year before we actually sold a single shade. Um, so I was going to China, working with a prospective manufacturer there, working on specifications and the way the shades were made and working out in the factory, picking products and patterns. And in that time, we had no income. At that stage, you know, we had a young family. Ricky was six years old and Catherine was, was three. And it was a pretty scary time to be spending a year with no income. So we decided that in the meantime, we would actually do some shop at home. So Steffi reached out to a good friend of ours, Barry, Atlantic City Shade, who trained her, got her sample books. And so she went out in the local community selling window shades and blinds, and I would do the installation. And one of the things we learned was that when you uh, sell window shades to somebody, particularly in your local community, you're not just selling a product, you're putting your reputation on the line. So, um, you know, if, if your vendor doesn't stand behind you or your supply partner doesn't treat you in the right way, that makes it very difficult for you to explain to your, to your customer. So those were the two things I think that really, um, that really uh, shaped the way that the pro design developed and the way we think. The first is that everything we do starts with a customer. We don't want to do something unless it helps a customer grow their business or improve their margins or make more money. That's our job, is to try and bring things to customers that are unique and help their business. And the second was that as, that as a vendor, you have a duty of care uh, to, to look after the reputation of your customer. Because in the end, if we don't take care of the process and we don't take care of the product and we don't take care of how we, how we deal with the customer, then in a world of online reviews and, and, and word of mouth referrals, then we are potentially hurting their business. So that duty of care is something that we, we take very seriously. Now, one of the things I often get asked is, you know, ProDesign, I think, has a, a reasonable reputation um, for caring and, and for having a sort of personal touch with our customers. But what happens is you grow. Typically, when, when, when companies get big, they add layers of management and they add more people and it gets harder and harder to maintain that personal touch. And I want to talk a little bit about that because um, if I go back to January of 2019, uh, ProDesign shipped about 5,000 shades during that month. Um, in January of 2020, ProDesign shipped about 10,000 shades in that month. And in 2021, so in the last month, ProDesign has received orders for about 31,000 shades. So that is six times the number of shades from two years ago. So we have seen significant growth, and I think we've worked hard to try and maintain uh, our caring uh, attitude to our customers. But as we grow further, um, we have to make sure that we do this in a systematic way. And um, the way we're doing that uh, is um, by thinking small. 
And I'm going to take a, a quote from a very colorful character and one of my favorite CEOs, a guy called Herb Kelleher, the CEO and founder of Southwest Airlines, who once said, the businesses that think big grow small and businesses that think small grow big. So what do we mean by thinking small? Well, what we mean is, is that uh, our job in our business is to take care of the details, is to take care of all the little things, is to treat every customer and every order the same. So we don't care if it's a one shade order or it's a 25 shade order. It's an order and it matters equally to our customer and to our customer's customer, whether it's one shade or 25, is to take care of every order to take care of every customer as though they're the most important thing that is happening in our business today. So what we intend to do in the course of the next year is we're extending that principle to all the processes by which you interact with us. So there is a process for everything and we are increasingly focusing in our business on thinking about process. We understand that if you go from 5,000 shade orders to 31,000 shade orders, you've got to be doing some things on that whole process of order entry and expediting that makes that possible. But equally, you can look at the process of somebody ordering a sample from us or somebody asking us for installation instructions or somebody asking for parts. You can look at those processes and you can measure them too. How well do we do them? How quickly do we do them? How many do we get right first time? These are all things that we're starting to look at in our business. And these are all things that we're investing in. So we've grown the size of our team. But as we grow the size of our team, we're bringing in people who are focused on the customer experience. They're focused on great customer service. And they're focused on thinking about process and how we improve. And that's what we mean by thinking small. And we have a vision here at ProDesign. And we kind of use a shorthand of ProDesign 2022 but we have a vision for what we want our customer experience to look like. And that vision is that every time you interact with us, whether you call us for a refund, or you call us for a remake, or you call us for parts, or you call us with an order, or you call us for any reason, for information, for any of these reasons, that every time you call us, that that call will be handled accurately and correctly, first time with the first person you speak to. That's a difficult vision for us to deliver because it requires an enormous amount of training and development and education internally. But that's the challenge we're taking up. And I hope during the course of this convention that we get a chance to discuss with you in more detail about what are your expectations for great customer service and how can we deliver it. Thank you.